So I'm just curious about the politics behind this China bill, right? Because you hear that there's a lot of uh, rumblings from the right that Biden is not tough enough on China. And I think that that may be their next route that they go to critiquing him since they seem lost in terms of the right wing media. But Chuck Schumer is pushing this. Uh, from what I've seen, it has to do with 5G uh, c capabilities, building some of that up. That's some of what's being floated here. Um, could that be tied into infrastructure and what's being discussed with this China bill? Um, because to me, it just seems like you're, you know, trying to get ahead of right wing critique, which is uh, never the best strategy. This particular bill is is a holdover from previous years. It's uh, it's a, sh a bipartisan bill between Schumer and Todd Young, who's a Republican from Indiana. It's a it, it, it offers one hundred billion dollars over five years. Uh, mainly for the National Science Foundation uh, to increase research that could be converted into domestic industrial policy, essentially. Uh, I don't think that the, the, the White House is opposed to it in any way. I think they see it as part of their overall plan to bring back manufacturing uh, and to uh, ensure that supply chains are robust in the United States. Uh, I think that they don't see it really as in, con in conflict with the broader infrastructure package. It's almost an add-on, and they'd be happy to have any kind of bipartisan thing pass. Uh, this is Schumer. I don't want to call it freelancing, but it, it's, a, it's been an initiative of his for some time, and he has a Republican partner. And so you know, it seems like a logical step for him. I don't know that it is necessarily kind of a, uh, a, a direct challenge to the right. And, and I, I'm not, I actually think that where you're going to see conservatives go over the next couple months is more on the subject of the border, uh, uh, particularly with uh, uh, increases in child migration right now, unaccompanied minors. Uh, you are seeing increases there. We actually had uh, one of our reporters, Marsha Brown, down at the border uh, this past week. And she, she saw actually a, a, a bit of a more orderly process in terms of uh, emptying out some of these camps that have been set up uh, along the border for people who were seeking asylum but were forced to remain in Mexico. Uh, those people are gradually being uh, you know, allowed to access the United States. The rest of the border is actually closed uh, through a public health order called Title 42, which allows the government to essentially close the border and, and, and push everybody back. But un unaccompanied minors are not incorporated into that policy. And that is why you're seeing increases in unaccompanied minors. And I, I think that that is where uh, the, 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 the right is going to look to say here, there's a crisis, there's a caravan on the border and things like that. Uh, so I don't think the China bill is necessarily a response to the right. I think the China bill is something Schumer has been interested in for a while and is trying to find something with bipartisan support. In infrastructure, I mean, I should say uh, supply chains became a big issue, obviously, in, in the first couple of months of, uh, of, of the pandemic. And I think that, that right. like uh, focused everybody there.